It is with great joy that I spend a few hours with you teaching you the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. And I welcome every one of you here today because uh, this uh, lecture has potential to help you to become a better leader and to change your life. And uh, somebody asked me recently, they said, John, how long did it take you to write the book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership? And I know I shocked them because I looked at him and said, about 20 years. Now, people know I'm slow, <laughs> but that's really slow. What I was really saying to them is a book like The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership has to be birthed with a lot of experience. In other words, there are some books you don't write real quickly. There are some books you just kind of let them marinate and, and let them simmer so that you can truly bring out the laws. And uh, the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership was kind of formed not only in a process of time, but about five years ago, I sat down one time and I asked myself, in leading people for 20, 25 years, what lessons have I learned about leadership? What principles, what thoughts have I learned that really would make a difference? And uh, what I came to the conclusion was this, that there are a lot of wonderful leadership thoughts or a wonderful lo lot of leadership principles. But, but when you start boiling down to laws, there are just a few of them. And I would like to talk to you about the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, and I would like to begin in your workbook by sharing with you how these laws were qualified. How, how did we qualify these laws? How did we, how did we turn around and say, okay, uh, these are more than principles. These are more than leadership thoughts. These are truly laws. And I'm going to share with you in your notes uh, the qualifying test to becoming a leadership law. For example, number one, uh, these laws are not based on culture, gender, or age. 